meantime, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and in recent years, it is affecting younger women at higher and higher rates. Our Laureen Ayub spoke with a survivor who's encouraging her peers to get examined sooner to catch it early, just like her. Meditative stretching is just one of many outlets Yvonne Toe enjoys these days. As she continues her bout with breast cancer, the Bay Area native encourages women to examine themselves earlier on, rather than wait for a mammogram at age 40. I was 37 when I was diagnosed. I was a month away from my 38th birthday. And yes, generally you're not supposed to get mammograms um, until you're 40. If you do have a family history, they always educate you to do um, self-checks earlier. But Yvonne had zero family history. She just happened to be proactive and that enabled her to receive an earlier diagnosis, which spared her from the risk of discovering an advanced stage of cancer. I always emphasize with people, um, if it doesn't feel right, get it checked. It's very important, like the earlier you catch something, the higher probability that it's easy easily treatable. Now at age 42, Yvonne is the support co-chair of Bay Area Young Survivors, a nonprofit support group for individuals diagnosed with breast cancer under the age of 45. According to a recent study by Washington University, younger women are being diagnosed at higher rates compared to 20 years ago. That's why Yvonne advocates for more coverage by insurance. When you get your pap smears or your annual um, OB, exams, I think mammograms should be covered because it would be considered a preventative measure of care. And while the journey for Yvonne has had its ups and downs, she says she's grateful she caught her diagnosis early. Dr. Candace Thompson with Stanford University says such intentional efforts are key. We know that 40% of breast cancers are found with palpation, meaning feeling a lump um, before uh, a mammogram. Now Yvonne is pushing onward and hopeful to complete her treatment soon. The plan required a chemically induced menopause to manage her hormone levels, which has not been easy on her. From weight gain to hair changes, she says that is why having like-minded community support goes such a long way. A lot of people blame themselves when they get diagnosed. They say, I should have caught it earlier. I, sh I should They play the should game. And I'm like, you shouldn't do that anymore because you are here. You are getting treated now. You are getting it looked at. You are trying to get better. So don't blame yourself for what happened in the past. Instead, she pushes forward with a message of building towards what is ahead. As Laureen mentioned, Yvonne co-chairs the support group Bay Area Young Survivors. They host all sorts of events for breast cancer patients and survivors, including monthly support meetings, educational workshops on treatment and recovery, and then fun outings like hikes, picnics, and holiday parties.